Hi, good morning. I want to come to you today and share um, a really good meditation that you can do today. We have a new moon. Um, I've never really followed astrology too much, but I do find that there's something to that. And I have some friends that are doing more with that. So um, I'm learning. Um, you know, it's exciting to learn something new all the time because every time you learn something new, it connects new uh, neuron pathways in your brain to keep your brain active. And, you know, our brain is a muscle. And so we want to keep that um, active and sharp as possible. So um, it came to me last night. Um, and then I was able to take some time out this morning to sit outside. Um, it's be a beautiful day here in Florida and just really listen to nature um, and take some time to connect and reconnect back to myself. And so I came up with this meditation um, that I did this morning. Um, I did my prayers with it and, um, you know, I really had some great things that transpired. So I thought this would be really good for you um, at some time today if you really could take 30 minutes out of your schedule to just sit by yourself sip on some herbal tea um you know a fun you know furry fuzzy blanket uh or robe and just really nurture yourself for a good 30 minutes and here is what i want you to do um, I have come up with um, this meditation to help you. Uh, you can call it a prayer, a blessing. Um, you can have a conversation with God or whatever you believe in. But really just it's about connecting to yourself and connecting to your beliefs and more importantly beliefs about yourself. Um, and then if you have essential oils, I want you to grab your drawer, your basket, um, whatever you have of essential oils, because I'm going to match each one up to an oil. And this is what we call a meditation scent session. And so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to just take some deep breaths. You're inhaling pure love and you're exhaling anything that doesn't serve you, any burdens that you're having. Um, just release the negativity and breathe in positivity because this is what we want. We want our cells to receive loving, positive, healing energy from ourselves um, so that it can work better for us. So the first thing, so we're breathing. And then I want you to first think about and then the first thing that comes to your mind, you say it, you write it down. I wrote all mine down. And so I have like this huge <laughs> paper that I did this morning of all of these things that came to me. Um, so the first thing that I want you to say to yourself is I detach and let go of and you fill in the blank, right? So what do you need to detach from and release to enable you to move forward in life, to dream big, to open yourself up to opportunities, possibilities, to allow growth into your business, to help you wherever you're stuck in life, to get to that next step. Because remember, sometimes it's about the sprint, not the marathon. How far is it to our next mile marker, to our next goal? Um, you know, of course we need to see the bigger picture so we know what action steps to take to get there. But first and foremost, say to yourself, I now detach and let go of what is that? First thing that comes to mind, don't overthink it. You a blood types, you're going to overanalyze and overthink it. Now that's not what we're doing. It's the first thing that comes to your mind as crazy as that may seem or weird if it doesn't make sense to you, let that go. And then I want you to smell as you're doing this patchouli because patchouli is really good to let go. If there was a theme song to patchouli, it would be let it go from Frozen. <laughs> um, and so breathe in the patchouli, take your deep breaths, and then say to yourself, write it down. Verbal journal is acceptable. Um, I now detach and release, fill in the blank. 
the next thing that you're going to do once you have finished that don't jump ahead finish all that get it all out as long as it takes get it all out and then I want you to say I will let be blank what will you let be there's some things that's not within your control there's some things that are happening what are you going to just let it be just have it out there and not constrain it not limit it not overthink it, not overanalyze it. There's some things that you just need to let it be. And so what is that? And if you have neroli, I want you to smell neroli before, during, and after that you're writing this out, that you're saying it to yourself. If you don't have neroli, um, neroli comes from the flowers of the bitter orange tree. You can grab your bergamot because it comes from the fruit from the same tree. So not quite the same when we get into emotional healing with these essential oils, but it will help you through this meditation exercise. Once you are complete with what you will let it be, then you're going to say, I will let what flow freely to what? So you're going to fill in those blanks. I will let myself, I will let whatever comes to me, opportunities, possibilities, whatever that is, flow freely to me, to my life, to my business, uh, to a situation. What is that? And so that is all about movement. And so this is where grapefruit is a great essential oil to support the lymphatic system and allow you to flow freely and move. So the first thing is I will detach and let go of because you need to free and liberate yourself of these burdens. You need to let, let it be because you need to live with contentment and acceptance of yourself and then letting it flow freely is creating movement. You can't be stagnant when there's movement. And so once you've finished that, then you're going to move on to say, I let my whole being expand and fill with growth for, or I will let my whole being expand and fill with what is that? Because once you release something, you have to replace that void, that hole, with something positive. So when you release bad habits, you replace them with good habits. So we're releasing burdens, but we are replacing it with what is that that you need? Is it love? Is it to be more open to be able to shift and pivot with, through these unchartered times? And the essential oil that's going to help you with this is eucalyptus. Eucalyptus gives you room to breathe. It helps you to not feel suffocated. It allows room for opportunities and possibilities to flow. It allows you to be open, right? It opens our sinuses, but it can open our mind, open our hearts, open our gut intuition, um, open just opportunities for us. And then the next one is to infuse yourself with love. And this is, I feel what I desire. And it feels like this. I want you to really feel it. So we're not just letting things go and we're letting things be. We're feeling what it feels like to let it go. We're feeling what it feels like to let it be. We're feeling what it feels like to expand and fill yourself with growth and opportunity and love. And forgiveness. So I want you to actually feel it. What does it feel like to be this person who let the crap go and fill it with good stuff? What does that feel like? This is a feeling that you will keep with you. Once you know, once you feel something, like you don't forget it. And, you know, they show scent memories are the most powerful. So when you match a situation to a scent, it like really embeds that into your memory so you can retrieve it even quicker even better and so lavender is a really good essential oil to help with that if you have rose I would say use rose if you don't have rose use lavender 
Um, if you do anything with uh, gemstones, amethyst is a really good stone to put with this as well because it's very good to help you really feel what, what you need to desire, right? So I want you to feel this and I want you to feel what it feels like to love yourself because you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else and before anybody else can love you. It starts with you. You have to lead by example of how everybody needs to treat you, to respect you, to, you know, this is part of setting boundaries and that's, that's going to be a whole other topic, but I want to stay focused on this exercise. So feeling what it is that you desire, what is it that you're dreaming? What are your intentions? What is it that you want? Feel what it feels like to not only want it, but to have it. And then the next is I want you to visualize it, see it. You're actually doing it. And anytime you're doing meditations, you're doing prayer, you don't just ask for things in the future. You actually ask as if it's happening to you right now because your body, your cells, your tissues, everything about you believes everything you tell it, everything you think, everything you feel, everything you endure. So you want to embrace that and infuse that. And so I want you to visualize right now, you've already let go of those, you've detached from what it is, the burdens that you need to let go of, Patchouli helped you do that. You are letting things be the way that they need to be and not controlling them and limiting them. And Neroli or Bergamo helped you do that. You were able to flow freely um, you were let things, you know, you let things flow to you freely because grapefruit helped you do that. You were able to expand and fill and replace the burdens you let go were replacing that with something healthy. And so eucalyptus helped you do that. And then you're feeling what it feels like to live your desires and your dreams and what it is that not only that you want, but that you deserve. You're allowed to be you. You're allowed to, you know, think whatever you want, feel whatever you want. You're allowed to be you. We get so conditioned to fit into a box that we forget to allow ourselves just to be you. That's why some people like just to be at home and be quiet because they don't have to put on a facade for anything else or be something people pleasing, just being you. And so visualizing rosemary is a great oil to help you do that because it puts oxygen in your blood. It helps you breathe better. Um, but it also, I think some of the things in life, you, you want to be felt, but you also want to be seen. And you want to be able to see messages, you know, that are placed in front of you. What is God telling you? What is the universe telling you? What is the messages and the lessons and all of the craziness that happens to us every day? What is that? We need to see it, but we also need people to see us so we feel valued and appreciated and respected. And so rosemary is a great oil to help you do that. So I want you to visualize that you are this person who has dreams and desires and you can have that. And then the last one, you are now acting in your own power. You now have, you've now connected and reconnected to your own power. And you are acting in this power as if all this is happening right now. So today, um, hey, Sheeta, I'm so happy that you're here. Um, it's so exciting all the way from India. So I'm so happy that you're here. Um, we've been going through um, an aromatherapy meditation um, and so make sure that you go back and you listen from the beginning. Um, and so I did this really awesome meditation and I tell you, it was so powerful for me this morning that I could not, not share that with you. Um, and so, you know, you're letting go, you're detaching from things that don't serve you. You're letting things be, uh, so you're not pushing it in a box or shoving it in. You're just letting things be, um, you let things flow freely to you. Grapefruit is helping us with that. We're expanding. So we allow growth and opportunity to come in. Eucalyptus is helping us with that. You're going to feel what it feels like to be your desires and your dreams and all of your being. You're feeling that. It's so powerful for self-love. Rose and lavender and amethyst is going to help you with that. 
Now, if you need to feel your way through a situation and be open to possibilities and be open to new ideas, like you're one to just shut things down and be defensive really quickly, you're going to need to add in peppermint to help you move past that first. And then you can bring in the rose and the lavender. And then you're visualizing it. I am me. I am what this is. And so visualizing it, that's going to be rosemary. And then now you are this powerful you with all of your being and you love yourself and you accept yourself. And you know, once you do that, that just exudes out and people will love you back. The people who need to love you back because it's not about people pleasing and, and allowing people in your life that don't serve you. That's part of that detachment. We can surround ourselves by things that make us happy and joyful. You deserve that. You're allowed to have that. And so acting in your power as if all of this is happening right now, that is Ilong Ilong. Ilong Ilong is just so beautiful to help you with that. And I have, um, let me see if I can get this document open. Um, oh, I don't think I still have that open. Um, and so Ilong Ilong, um, from one of my mentors, I was really reading more um, about this one and it was so profound specifically for this and um, it's used so much um, just to let's see I should have had this up already um, anyway I don't want to take away from what we're doing here um, but part of what that is, is it's allowing you just to be your true self right now and allowing things um, in and holding it within your power to say, this is true for me. This is true for me. Um, I accept it. I own it. I have it. It's all about having it and not just dreaming it because you can turn your dreams into a reality. I call that a dreamality. <laughs> Um, because this helps you. So I hope this uh, aromatherapy meditation is going to help you. Um, like I said, whenever you're able to have 30 minutes, sit quietly, grab your essential oils, and think these things through because sometimes I do things quickly and go through it, and then I don't allow myself the time nor the space to let something to evolve and unfold. Part of this process is an unfolding because when you let things unfold, you can find some hidden gems that might be those golden nuggets that's the key that's to what's holding you back or not allowing yourself to feel loved or not able to work through a situation. Um, and so really take this time to go through and think these things through. Speak it out, write it out, whatever you need to do because that's going to be important for you. So I wish you a very happy and healthy and rewarding and loving day because you deserve that. And you do that for yourself because I'm certainly putting that out to you um, and just sharing what's on my heart today. And hopefully this brings you a message that you needed to hear today. Um, so happy new moon and um, I wish you all just a beautiful, happy, prosperous day. Take care, everybody.